Around the coast of Britain, Asian metal navigation buoys are being replaced by lighter, more durable and less expensive plastic buoys, designed and manufactured by British company Carilla. Trinity House, based in Harwich, is the world's most respected lighthouse authority. Steeped in hundreds of years of tradition, it does not make changes lightly. However, after a year's rigorous trials of this new technology, it is replacing some of its steel navigation buoys with Carilla's innovative plastic buoys. Today, five Marine Class II buoys are being deployed 10 miles off the Kent coast. Yeah, what we're doing here is we're, we're swapping out our old style steel buoys for the new technology plastic ones. Basically because it's um, less maintenance um, and of course reducing costs. The, the old steel ones are very um, labour and maintenance intensive. Uh, we have to bring them in every five years for repainting and refurbishing and we believe that these plastic ones are um, able to stay at sea for a longer period, probably up to 20 years. The plastic boys have many advantages over their metal ancestors. They don't rust, don't need painting, and most importantly, can be cleaned at sea. There's no need for the boys to be brought back to dry land for expensive maintenance. They're much lighter than steel boys too, and this means they can use lighter moorings, so less chain wear. Plastic Marine Boys have saved one port authority around £90,000 over five years in service boat and crewing costs and up to £4,500 per boy in servicing costs over the same five-year period. Manufactured in the heart of England, each section of a boy is rotationally moulded. Specially made tools are loaded with coloured polyethylene powder and clamped before entering an oven. Then, before assembly, each section of the collar is filled with marine grade foam, ensuring that the buoy remains afloat even if it's struck by a vessel. Teesport, on the northeast coast of England, is Britain's second biggest port, with some 56 million tonnes of shipping moving through its waters every year. Here, plastic buoys are an established feature. The Port Authority have been using various sizes of plastic buoy for a number of years and they have proved to be a massive success. We introduced plastic boys as a replacement for the steel boys in the late 90s. We saw them as a way ahead uh, in reducing maintenance costs, uh, manpower and uh, reliability. We found that uh, the steel boys on average took about two days to clean, repaint. Uh, we would do that one day and, and go back the next day and have to gloss them. Uh, we're, we can clean four plastic boys a day, steam clean them off, pressure wash them off, check the moorings, check the character on the light, and on average four, four in a 12 hour day. We had a lot of traditionalists within the company who used the river. Uh, we, we found over time that they have warmed to the plastic boys. There's no turning back now. Plastic market boys will serve the sea for generations. They inherit advantages and make them the obvious choice for the future. The challenge is there for port authorities around the world. When will you join the plastic revolution? Contact Carilla Plastics and discover how the company's innovative and collaborative approach is a winning combination, serving clients all over the world.